Congratulations. What's going through your mind? Thanks so much, uh, Joe. Uh, it's everything at once. Right? It's um, joy, relief, gratitude, uh, excitement, exhaustion. And that's just in the Wall Street Journal newsroom. So <laughs> how Evan must be feeling and how his family must be feeling as they prepare to meet him and how all the other families that are reunited today are feeling is just so wonderful to imagine. It, it absolutely is. And you could see the emotion in the room when President Biden uh, spoke about this earlier today with the families there uh, alongside him. Did you have any idea, Paul, that this was about to happen after you've been fighting this battle for so long, Evan, of course, just last month being sentenced to years in prison in Russia? We understand that this was a months long effort on behalf of the U.S. government. But was this a slowly and then all at once kind of thing? Yeah, thanks, Kelly. I think in the last couple of weeks, we started to feel more positive uh, after several months of not knowing which way it was moving. So we just had to have faith. Uh, we saw this week things start to pick up a little more. The only you know, caveat I put on that is these deals are never done until you can 100% say that they are on the tarmac and they're out of Russian custody. And that was what we were waiting for with Evan today. And, you know, that was an amazing moment. We've seen over the last 14 months, nothing, obviously, uh, anything approaching this, but we've seen overtures, we've seen conversations, we've seen negotiations, we've seen tragedies like Navalny's death. So for us, it was just waiting until we knew that Evan and his fellow returnees were free. Well, of course, it's not... Only Evan, four Americans freed today uh, for the benefit of our viewers and listeners who are just learning about this. We spoke recently with Alsu uh, Kramashev's husband, Pavel Butorin, and he said this to us about his wife a few weeks ago on Balance of Power. No matter what uh, these unjust Russian courts find her or Evan guilty of, we know that she is not a criminal. We, her family, we know that she has done nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. The world knows that she has done nothing wrong. Alsu will come back, will return to us, to the free world, as a hero. Those of you watching us on Bloomberg TV saw Pavel and his daughter, Bibi, who is also there with President Biden today at the announcement. A very emotional moment. The scale of this swap, Paul, it, the fact that we're talking about Alsu's case at the same time as Evan, at the same time as Paul Whelan, at the same time, there they all are now, if you're looking at this wonderful image of them on the plane together on Bloomberg TV. Vladimir, how did this all happen at once? I, I think it's the result of a lot of work by the Biden administration. We give them great credit for it and other allies. Uh, you know, we saw 16 people come out. Uh, we saw eight Russians go back. Those Russians were contributed by uh, Poland, Slovenia, Norway, Germany, you know, so it was a real exercise in the West coming together and doing what was necessary to stop travesties of justice. And no one likes these deals. You see Russian uh, operatives, folks who have been found guilty in real courts going back in exchange for innocent people who have done nothing wrong uh, who come out. So they're obviously difficult, but, you know, these, this... What happened today stops so many bad things from being perpetuated in Russia that we're just so grateful it's happened. And I think you'll see now U.S. and other governments try to figure out if they can work together on a deal like this. How can they work together to prevent things like this happening again and take away the incentive for Russia and other countries to take innocent people hostage as pawns? Uh, and our, you know, we also feel today there are still Americans in Russian prisons. Not everyone came out, and we yeah. do also feel for those families today as well. Absolutely. And, Paul, it's worth noting in the journal's own reporting that kind of tells the story of how all of this happened. It's noted that before Evan was formally released, Russia had some paperwork for him. There was an area that was blank that allowed him to do as he wished with it, essentially. And he made a bit of an ask. The last line... He asked after his release, would Putin be willing to sit down for an interview with him? I'm not sure if you're confident he will get that interview, but what is next for Evan now? What's next for you, having worked on his case for so long? Well, the beautiful thing for Evan is that after 16 months, 
he finally gets to make decisions for himself. Uh, and so he will do what Evan wants to do. And that's a marvelous, marvelous moment. Uh, we'll stand with him for, you know, through that whole period. He'll need time to reconnect. We want to make sure his body's okay. We want to make sure his head's okay. We want to give him all the time and space he needs. But we will ride along with him, and uh, we're excited to see where he takes it. And, you know, the sheer um, chops of riding that in <laughs> a what was effectively a clemency petition just shows you what sort of person uh, he is. And that's been inspiring to us. And he and his family really have been the guiding lights this whole time. 